and uh, still no definite word from those connections if they will be coming for that race or not. But Plesak tentatively scheduled for an appearance in the Trot Mondial in Quebec on September 22nd as he will try to add to that $1.4 million bankroll. Horses are on the track for the eighth race. Win play show exact a trifecta wagering and elimination of the darn safe two-year-old Illinois bred trotters. Again, if you finish in the top five, you advance to Saturday's $50,000 final. Here are the starters. Number one, Cadabra, owned by Homer and Jay Hochstetler of Crete, trained and driven by Homer Hochstetler, and that is the Illinois State Fair champion from Springfield. Two, Thunder Valley is owned by David Shane of Mount Carmel and Delbert Burkett of Ellery, trained by Burkett, Connell Willis in the bike. Three, Cheyenne's Red is owned by Linda Beale of Aldemont, trained and driven by Gary M Mills. Four, a source of muscles, owned by Randy Joe Finn, William Humphrey, and Sharon Sue Pettit of Newton and Flora, Illinois, trained by Randy Joe Finn with Fred Finn Jr. in the bike. Five is supercharged, owned by Tom Pollard, Dirk Simpson, and Mystical Marker Farms, and Jack Hood of Illinois and of Indiana, trained by Dirk Simpson, Dave McGee in the bike. Six is Pining for a Try, owned by Flocko Family Farms, Limited Liability Corporation of Alexis, trained by Joel Miller. The driver is Ross Leonard. Seven is Florida Crown, owned by Ledford Racing Incorporated of Ohio, and by Robert and Fred Lenz of Crete, Illinois, trained by Ryan Daly, Eric Ledford in the bike. And number eight, Fox Valley Banker, is owned by Bill and Marta Alanya of Seymour, trained and driven by Bill Alanya. This trifecta race is just four minutes from post. Here they come. Florida Crown is off stride. And Cheyenne's Red is also on a break. The rest are off and trotting. There goes Supercharged in the center of the track. Cadabra there toward the inside, and Supercharged is off stride. So the complexion of this race has changed tremendously because you've got now Supercharged who has made a break, and you also have Florida Crown who went off stride, and they were the second and third choices in the betting behind the favorite, Cadabra. Speaking of which, Cadabra has a four-length lead approaching the quarter-mile mark. As they race that way, Thunder Valley goes second by three. Source of Muscles third. A gap of three more to Fox Valley Banker. Two more to Pining for a Try. A gap of eight to Cheyenne's Red. Another five to Florida Crown. And another 20 back to Supercharged. The field is scattered, racing by the quarter in 30 and four-fifths. Driving down the backside, it is Cadabra, who leads it by some three and a half lengths to Thunder Valley, who's second the same margin, and Source of Muscles goes third by two. Then Fox Valley Banker, pining for a try, Cheyenne's Red, Florida Crown, and Supercharged is last. At the half-mile mark, Cadabra has everything just the way he wants it. He hits the half in a minute, four-fifths, and that should be no trouble, that kind of a fraction for him as he goes to the last turn. He leads Thunder Valley by three. It's a gap of five more to Source of Muscles, another three to Fox Valley Banker, pining for a try, who was also one of the threats in here, has just made a break. Cheyenne's Red moves by him. The rest have ground to make up. Cadabra on the lead by three at the three quarters. Thunder Valley second by four, and then Source of Muscles is racing in third. Cadabra glides on by the three-quarter mile mark in a time of one minute, 30 seconds flat. His lead is five lengths. He's moving off the last turn. Thunder Valley second by three to Source of Muscles. Fox Valley Banker a long way back to Cheyenne's Red, who's off stride. Eighth of a mile from the finish, it is Cadabra very much in charge. Thunder Valley is six lengths away. Source of Muscles goes third, and Fox Valley Banker is fourth. Coming down to the line, Cadabra about to score win number five in his seventh career start. It is all Cadabra, another odds-on favorite to the winner's circle here at DuCoin. Cadabra won it by seven. Thunder Valley second, Source of Muscles third in 159 and one. circle homer hockstetler has the race bike in his left hand and wrestles it around and finally cadabra goes in he is the official winner in 159 and one ladies and gentlemen here's cadabra homer hockstetler with the winning drive homer and his son jay own this horse quick word with homer homer two-year-old trotters usually like to make breaks but looking at this fella's lines he doesn't make too many mistakes has he been picture perfect from the day that you first started to break him last fall pretty much so uh he has, sometimes he has a bad day, but uh, once he started racing, he likes to work. I mean, he loves it. And he's a wonderful horse. How about that uh, week at Springfield a couple of weeks ago? You won with him in the final. You won with Life's a Holiday in the final. You've had success downstate in the past, but have you ever had a week like that one? Uh, no, that was a great week. Uh, I just hope we do half as good this week, and we'll go from there. You're halfway there already with this horse. Homer, congratulations. Thank you. That's Homer Hochstetler, the winning trainer driver. We'll have the rundown in a moment.